what's going on guys, we got a new type of video for you guys today, it's going to be a tips and tricks video for you guys that are just starting out and getting the game today, because I know by the time I post this video it should be around Christmas Eve. So first things first, we're going to start off with perk 1, we're going to use low profile, because you guys won't have very many perks to start off with. Perk 2, peripherals, so it makes your mini maps bigger. Perk 3, toughness, and then you exo ability, you want to use overclock and then 2 frag with the BAL, because the BAL and the AK are going to be the two best guns that you have to start out with. So here again, I'm just going to show you guys the perks, the so low profile, peripherals, toughness, exo ability, overclock, and then two grenades, and then those are just the kill streaks you guys will have. Alright, so next thing we're going to talk about is settings. So sensitivity, you want to use between a 3 to a 6, because I think those are the best sensitivities in this game, because all the jumping around you need to be a little more accurate. And then safe area, I turn all the way down, and another new effect in this game is paintball. I like to turn that on so you can see where you're getting shot from and if your bullets are connecting. And then like I said, I turned down safe area all the way, and brightness, I just put standard how it tells you to put it. And that's pretty much my setup, and then I play tactical for drop shining. So, that's all I got for this video, and then now we're going to jump into some gameplay so I can show you guys how I play. So we're going to be playing some free-for-all on Defender again to show you guys how I play and what I do in this game that's different from all other Call of Duty, so we're just going to wait for this game to load. Alright, so I'm going to be using the BAL in this gameplay because that's probably what most of you guys are going to use because it's probably one of the best guns in the game. So first thing you guys want to notice in this gameplay is how I keep my crosshairs centered in the screen because you don't want to have to pull your guns up because most of the people run around with their crosshairs looking at the ground and you don't want to do that especially in this game because of how fast paced it is. You want to keep your crosshairs centered so all you got to do is aim in and shoot. And the next thing we're going to talk about is how much you jump around because jumping around, I know it's advanced warfare but you don't want to be doing that a lot because you're going to be showing people where you're at. Like, if you want to jump around the most thing I do the most is probably just the single tap X and then sprint forward or A if you're playing on Xbox. Like you can see there, that guy's double jumping I can just see him from a mile away. So you just want to do the little burst jump forward if, to get a dodge and get away from enemies. You don't want to be double jumping around a lot because it's pretty much like a UAV for the enemy showing them where you're at on the screen. And especially if you're just starting because you're not going to have blast suppressor which is a key perk in this game to stay off the radar. And then like I said, sensitivity, you guys just want to find a sensitivity that works for you, but you want to keep it kind of low, I think, so that you can be a little more accurate because of all the jumping. I keep mine between, like I said, like 3 and 6, depending on the map, I might turn it down a little bit. Like right here, I start missing this guy a lot because I forgot to turn my sensitivity back down to 4 for this map because it's a little bigger. So I do that later on, and that seemed to help me connect with shots a little bit more. So that's pretty much all I've got for you guys in this video. I should be coming out with another video soon that's a little more advanced for you guys that are I've been playing Call of Duty a little bit longer. This is just for you beginners out there right now. But so even some of you advanced guys can get something out of this because it's good to know the basics sometimes. So if you like the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.